Hi everyone, this video you're watching is the first part of my portfolio for the 2022 Applied Category Theory Conference. In the next 5 minutes or so, I will lay out some general background information about my application of category theory in theoretical linguistics. In the description area below, you can find links to the other stuff in my portfolio, including a blog post, an extended abstract, and a poster. This is already my second time participating in the ACT conference. The last time I took part was in 2020, and you can find the links to my previous portfolio in the description area as well. This time I'm using category theoretic tools to solve a quite different theoretical linguistic problem, which kind of demonstrates the potential breadth of categorical linguistics as an interdisciplinary field of research. It is the scientific study of human language, and theoretical linguistics in particular is focused on the intrinsic nature and properties of the world's languages, with language being viewed as a perfect reflection of the human mind. As Noam Chomsky pointed out half a century ago, when we study human language, we are approaching what some might call the human essence. More exactly, linguists study human language by carefully observing their properties, examining their similarities and differences, tracking their historical developments, and proposing theories for them. Linguistics, as I've just described, may sound a bit foreign to the ACT community. And indeed, category theory can't really shed much light on the fundamental questions linguists are concerned about, such as what is sometimes called Humboldt's problem, that is, how can children master complex language structures at such an early age with extreme rapidity? As well as Wallace's problem, that is, how did the human species acquire a mind that seems far more powerful than anything humans could have needed to survive? Category theory can't help us with such philosophical questions. However, it is no doubt a powerful tool that can help linguists with the more mundane issues of structure representation and formal computation, tackling what I respectively call the organization problem, that is, how are the building blocks of human language organized in the manner grammar, and the composition problem, that is, how can we simulate the rule-based symbol manipulation by human language grammar. So, category theory can be highly useful to linguists when they target the right kinds of questions. And accordingly, the aim of my own work is to build a bridge between the more general field of ACT and the much narrower field of theoretical linguistics. So, to summarize my research in categorical linguistics so far in very brief terms, my 2020 submission to ACT was about the organization problem where I showed that category theory could help linguists streamline the multiple levels of abstraction in the human language grammatical type system. On the other hand, my submission this year is about the composition problem, where I argue that if we take lexical decomposition and morphosyntax seriously, then monadic composition is everywhere in human language semantics. To find out more details, please follow the links below and check out my full portfolios. This is the end of my short video. I hope you've enjoyed it and are feeling a little more curious about the application of category theory in linguistics. Thanks for watching.